I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to decorate this little towel. This is a seasonal towel and I love buying seasonal towels because they're usually inexpensive towels. You're only going to use them for a short time and you can find seasonal towels in Walmart. That's where I buy a lot. You can also check out Kohl's. They also have some really fun seasonal towels. So all I'm gonna do is show you how to look at the colors that are in your towel and pull from those colors to select the items that you wanna put on the towel. So let's get started. First step is to measure the width of your towel going this way and then add two and a half inches. So for this towel, uh, it was 15 inches wide. I'm gonna cut a, two strips that are 17 and a half inches long. The width, you're gonna determine how much of the towel you want covered. I want some of this red checkerboard to show. So I've cut my strips three inches wide, and you're gonna need two for each end of the towel. You also have to decide, are you going to uh, embellish both ends of the towel or just one? Take two strips and bring front sides together. And then pin the two strips together on all four sides. On one side, you're going to leave a small opening right about here in the center. Then you're going to stitch one quarter inch seam all the way around. So stitch all the way down to this corner. When you get to the corner, always leave your needle down and lift up the presser foot when you turn and continue stitching one quarter inch all the way around and then you're gonna stop here. Make sure you stitch back and forth at the ending and starting place. After stitching, then you wanna go and trim some of the excess fabric off of the corners. And I like to trim a little bit off on each side. And make sure you do this at all four corners. Then reach inside and turn this front side out. After turning it front side out, then fold these edges in a quarter of an inch and press the length of this uh, strip. Then go ahead and pin this opening closed and then stitch the opening closed real close to the edge right along there. Take the strip and place it at the bottom of the towel and center it across there. You'll have about an inch of overhang on each end and I also pull it past this bottom edge just a little bit just to give it a little more length. Then go ahead and pin this down all the way across and then after you've pinned it down then you're going to stitch close to the edge right along here. Then after you've stitched it down now you could stitch this all down at the same time but the problem is is you may not catch the edge of this so and to save yourself the headache of ripping things out just stitch this down first now take your rickrack, and I like to cut my rickrack a little bit longer at each end. Then go ahead and stitch the rickrack down. Now you want the rickrack to overlap the uh, decorative band and the towel itself. And so you would stitch right down the center of that rickrack. Turn it over onto the back and take this end of the rickrack and fold it around the edge. Then fold the uh, border fabric over onto the back and then stitch it down right along here. And when you're done, it'll look like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in learning how to decorate other towels for all seasons of the year, then look below your YouTube screen for those video links. And if you're interested in just other beginner sewing projects, such as 
tote bags and table linens, all kinds of things, clothing. Then also look below your YouTube screen for those video links. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and make sure you check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell. I'm Cheryl and this is a lot of manis. See you next time and happy sewing.